Hi, my name is Dr. Viral Desai. I'm a board certified cosmetic and plastic surgeon and hair transplant surgeon with 21 years of experience into aesthetic procedures and hair transplant. I'm practicing at Santa Cruz West uh, and I've got a clinic in Pune and I've got many other places where I go and operate like in Bangalore, in Indore, in Ahmedabad, Surat and many other cities. Today I'm going to be talking about minoxidil. This is the most commonly used drug in hair transplant and in for hair, hair loss and there are so many myths and facts about it which I want to clarify today. So what exactly is this minoxidil? It comes in a liquid form classically. It does come in a foam form too. It's mostly mixed with an alcoholic solution. Okay, and sometimes it's mixed with also water-based solutions. It comes in a plain form. Uh, it comes also mixed with finasteride or sometimes now newer formulation with dutasteride, which are anti-androgens or with capixil, procapil, uh, which are basically your peptides or with redensil or with melatonin and etc etc so many other components it also now comes in the oral form so minoxidil was basically discovered as a drug for anti-hypertension and then it got its FDA approval and for OTC use for hair loss 5% topical solution of minoxidil is approved for hair loss in both men and women by FDA there are only two drugs which are approved by FDA one of them is minoxidil and the other one is finasteride now people often read a lot on the internet and they confuse that minoxidil has a lot of problems or has a lot of side effects. Minoxidil by itself is an inactive form. When you apply it topically, it gets converted to an active form called minoxidil sulfate. And that is the one which prevents hair loss or decreases hair loss or, and promotes hair growth. So for that minoxidil to get converted to minoxidil sulfate, there has to be an enzyme called sulfonyl transferase. Sometimes this enzyme is less in the scalp. In that case, we can apply another solution, sulfonyl transferase enzyme before applying minoxidil, or we can apply a higher dose of minoxidil so some of it gets converted. Or we can give it orally. When you give it in a tablet form, in that case, it gets converted by the liver and the platelet sulfonyl transferase into its active form. Now, minoxidil was classically used for hypertension. So, of course, it can have certain side effects or certain complications with it. But this is happens when it's used in a very, very high dose, which is more than 10 or 20 milligrams or a daily dose. In hair, we use a dose of even less than 1 milligram or 1.25 milligram or 2.5 milligram, which is extremely safe both for men and women. So, don't worry about the side effects of oral minoxidil when it's used at that dose. Similarly, topical application, we use typically 5% and that gets absorbed to a very minimal level into the blood and hence does not cause any side effects. The main problem with minoxidil is that whatever it is mixed with and most commonly it is alcohol, it can cause irritation to the scalp, okay? And hence patient may not be compliant to it. Second, application of minoxidil makes the hair little rough, makes the hair dry, makes the hair frizzy. So all patients do not like to apply it. Third, minoxidil, when it evaporates, it leaves behind white crystals, which look like dandruff. So often patients come saying that my dandruff has increased, but it's not actually dandruff and can be easily taken care of. Fourth, rarely less than 2% of patients get a little bit of headache and lightheadedness and maybe heaviness around the eyes. If you are intolerant or allergic to minoxidil, which is less than 2%, if you keep getting a lot of flaking, which happens in less than 1% of the patients, or if you get lightheadedness or little heaviness around the eye, which happens in less than 2%. So no side effects are grave or permanent. They're temporary. If anything happens, we can stop the application of minoxidil there and there. Hence, it is one of the most or extremely safest drug which can be used and, and not only safe, but very effective drug which can be used and should be used in hair loss. This is the first line of treatment, the first line of defense that we have against hair loss. And a patient who starts minoxidil continues this. Another problem with minoxidil, which a lot of patients are afraid of and discuss with me, is the shedding which happens after stopping minoxidil. So I want to say one thing. If you have hypertension, you have to take your blood pressure medicine daily. If you have thyroid, you need to take your thyroid medicine daily. If you, apply, if you want to protect your skin, you need to apply sunscreen daily. Similarly, minoxidil will act as long as you're applying it. 
the day you stop applying minoxidil obviously the effect is gone so it's not that you had more hair fall after stopping minoxidil but all the hair which was stopped all the from falling because of the application of minoxidil they stop from falling and once you stop they fell down so yes once you start minoxidil you continue it for number of years but it is very very safe at the doses that we prescribe and in the manner in which we give them of often like i told you in the beginning it can be mixed with other components in order to enhance the effect i'll give you couple of examples if you mix it with finasteride it also gives anti androgen effect and it blocks the dht or dihydrotestosterone if you give it with melatonin it improves it gives strength to the hair follicles if you give it ridensil it increases the blood supply also so what does minoxidil itself do it promotes the growth phase of hair where it is the strongest the anagen phase number 2 it decreases the resting phase of the hair where it is the weakest it improves the blood supply to the scalp it also stimulates the stem cell pathway to some extent and it's believed that it may be anti androgen weakly but somewhere it is anti androgen so this is why minoxidil will always be the first line of drug whether you take it topically or whether you take it orally whether you mix it with alcohol in a spray form or in a water soluble whether you mix it with any other components to prevent or decrease hair loss but minoxidil will always be the first line of defense when it comes to hair fall